Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the x and y intercept of linear functions. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple problems to get together, so take notes with me, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so this, again, this lesson is about the x and y intercept. So let's first talk about the x intercept. So the x intercept is where the graph hits the x axis. Okay, so right here, if you put a little mark right there, that'd be great. That is the x-intercept. And the important thing about the x-intercept is that the y value is zero. So notice it doesn't go up or down, right? It's exactly on that line. So for the x-intercept, we're going to have a value for the x value, but the y value is going to be zero. It's always zero. All right, so an example of an x-intercept could be, say, I don't know, x is 3 and then y is, is zero. Or you could have one say maybe, I think this one here looks like maybe it's like negative, maybe negative two. So we'll call it negative two and zero. And remember the x-intercept touches the x-axis. So let's put a little x here for the x. And then the y-intercept is the point of the graph where, that touches the y-axis. So let's put a little y here. So right here, let's circle this point. That would be the y-intercept. And it's actually the opposite of the x-intercept, where for the y-intercept, the x value is zero. So we're gonna have a zero for the x value, and then we're gonna have the y value, all right? So an example of that could be, say, I don't know, zero and three, or it could be even, I'd say this one could be, say, zero and maybe, I don't know, five. Zero and five. So the big thing is this. Right, the x-intercept has a y value of zero, and then the y-intercept has an x value of zero. All right, so turn the page and keep that in mind. So here we have a function, 2x plus 4y equals eight. And here's the thing, if you know how to find the x and y-intercept, you can graph any linear function. All right, so let me show you how. So here we, um, again, we have the function 2x plus 4y equals eight, and we're going to first find the x-intercept. So remember, the x-intercept has a y value of zero. So let's write that in. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute a zero in, in for the y. So it's going to be 2x plus 4 times zero equals 8. All right, so the first thing you do is you plug in a zero for the y value. And then all you do is you solve for x. Okay, so it's going to be 2x plus... Well, four times zero is zero, equals eight. Now I can write this as two x equals eight. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by two. And we're gonna have x equals four. So I know the x value of the x-intercept is four, and the y value is zero. So I'm gonna plug that in over here. So x is four, y is zero, it will be right here. All right, now let's find the y-intercept. And again, just a reminder, for the y-intercept, the x value is zero, okay? So it's going to be zero and then something. So we do the same thing, except now we substitute a zero in for the x. So it's gonna be two times zero plus four y equals eight. And really, this is gonna just be removed because two times zero is nothing. So now it's four times y equals eight. I'm going to divide by four, divide by four, and we end up with y equals two. So I know the y-intercept now is gonna be zero and two. So I'm gonna put a point now there. So zero and two is right here. And now that we have two dots, okay, of the function, that's all you need to graph it. So again, I would take a ruler or a straight edge and connect the dots and extend in both directions. And guess what? We just graph the function two x plus four y equals zero, all right? Now there's other ways you can graph functions, but this is uh, one way that will work on any type of linear function. All right, so why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how I did this practice problem. So here we have the function x plus 2y equals 4. And again, if you can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, you can easily graph this linear function. All right, so just a reminder, the x-intercept has a y value of 0. 
So what you do is you plug that zero in for the Y. So two times zero is a zero. So think about it, this really is gonna be gone, right? So now we know that X is gonna equal four. So four and zero, that's the X intercept. So I'm gonna plot that right here. And then for the Y intercept, I know that the X value is the zero. So when I plug a zero in for the X, this is now gone, right? So now it's two Y equals four. I'm going to divide both sides by two and we end up with Y equals two. So the Y intercept is going to be zero and two. So I'm going to plot that point. And again, I'm going to connect the dots. And when I connect the dots, there is the function X plus two Y equals four. All right. How'd you do?